Dance on Royal Babies, it is the Pulse King Baby back here with another video. Hey, hey, hey. Y'all see today we got the one the one animations. You know what I'm saying? The one the one. Hey, we got today GameStop Heist. You know what I'm saying? That's how that's how that's, that's heist, right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, let's let's get into a video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, join the Royal Babies, the fittest, the strongest, the biggest, the illest. Family on the interwebs, you know what I'm saying? Hey, let's just go. Nowadays, we've entered the age of online. And you know what that means now? That what? means we can do anything over the internet from our homes now. Or yeah, yeah. Shop, stream regular and adult movies, make money, talk to people. You can literally run an entire business from the comfort of your own home. See, no growing gap. up, we didn't have that luxury of being that lazy, all right? Because right. we had to physically get up and go there to get a game from GameStop. When you get there, you walk in, the atmosphere is just stunning. They got games, toys, in-game purchase cards, systems, apparel, TV showing the latest games coming out that year. That old throwback section where you can find any game that was popping bottles before your current gen of gaming. A gigantic Halo statue in the middle of the store. They had it all, man. See, going to GameStop <laughs> as a kid back then felt like home. But see, here's the problem. Going to GameStop on a regular was dang near impossible because my parents would be like, you got GameStop money. You got McDonald's money. You got <laughs> rent money. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Hey, bro, this so relatable. McDonald money. You got rent money. So when you find, <laughs> hey, you got McDonald's money. Hey. <laughs> you got game money? <laughs> I don't care. You convinced your parents to take you to GameStop. They limited you to one game. No count. One. Two if you get lucky. I always wondered why though. Now looking back on it though, I kind of get it. Your mom already has to spend the monies, right? So don't ask her for more and voluntarily give her a reason to just even get more mad and change her mind and walk out with no game. I don't know. Maybe it was just my mom. I mean, unless, you know... <laughs> They got that two for one deal. <laughs> two games and a price of one? <laughs> Very good for alluring strict moms in their natural habitat. <laughs> There's always a downside to going to GameStop though. And you probably already know what I'm about to say. Hey bro, yeah, you almost understand when your friends only buy you one game. You know they they wanna buy you shit and they wanna make you happy, but sometimes it's like, hey. Yeah. Trade-ins. GameStop is one of the most gangster corporations I've ever seen in my life, son. And they still do this same thing to this day. To this day? To this day? If you go in there, <laughs> buy a new release game for $60, play it for two months, let it collect dust for another month, even though the game is still worth $60, go back to GameStop and trade it in for 20. some money thinking you're about to get something close to the original, guess how much you're finna get back? $20. $6. That's finessing like I don't know about hell. some of you rich folks out there, but for me growing up, I never, I repeat, never got an allowance. My parents taught me since birth. You hear that spit on the mic? Since birth. That chores were Sorry, something bro. you were supposed to do. So when I rode my bike there and didn't get much back from those devils, when I traded in my game, guess who kept the money? Me. You got McDonald's money? Yes, I do. You see the red <laughs> bottoms, ma? Yeah. I'm a boss. You a worker, ma. I don't dance now. I make money moves. <laughs> you need some? Holla at your boy. Once I got old enough to get a job and save up money for games and consoles instead of relying on my parents, I would just walk or ride my bike down to GameStop because I was privileged enough to have it. Hey, no doubt. It was real risky going by myself, though, because I lived in a town full of thieves and chaos. So best believe I'd speed ride or walk every single time because those bike rides and walks were getting my calf muscles. Right. I remember I was 16. The PS4 13. was about to release that year. It was mind blowing. Like something we've never even seen before that year. Everybody was going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs over the PS4. I seen a garbage truck full of PS3s past my house <laughs> every single day. For real though. Hey, what the fuck? On release day, there was always an early release for reserved console purchases at midnight, and the lines would be as long as my dictionary. Luckily, I got to make it to one of those reserved midnight releases because I reserved my PS4 weeks in Game Boy Advance. So I got to be a part of that line. I was in that line like, Mama, we made it. Pulling up for the dead homies. Never would've made it. <laughs> I owe you 
side note, that song came on every Sunday morning. If you know, you, you know. know. <laughs> now, let me just make something very clear about that midnight I was getting that PS4. Something was very off about GameStop that day. A little foreshadowing, it wasn't a get in, get out operation. Because as the lines got shorter, things got real weirder. Because when the line eventually made its way in the store, I noticed there were a lot of people but they're not more important than these people I saw. There was one employee, a woman with a gigantic purse in her toddler, a guy with a bag over by the racks that's been sitting in that same spot for 20 minutes looking back and forth at the cameras, and a guy- Shit's about to get down, hey yo, let's guy go. with baggy pants and a baggy shirt on. Not only did I notice those things specifically, I also noticed for some reason all of the racks with things on it we're close to the line leading to the front counter. Does that not seem suspicious? Y'all ever get that feeling where you go somewhere and you get this weird feeling of anxiety, like something's about to happen? That's how I'm at at this point, but I ain't saying nothing. I ain't six nine. I just kept it all to myself <laughs> and just observed. But just when I tried to brush it off my shoulder as a quinky dink, things got weirder. All right, everybody, can I get your attention? Can I get your, hey, hey stop moving, stop moving, listen. I am closing tonight. Boss man left the store in my hands. We only have a few people left. Let's get these PS4s out. I look towards the front counter and it's like everybody's playing red light, green light because when the employee would turn around and look for another reserved PS4 to give out, everyone I just named stole something. I'm bamboozled. <laughs> it's like the came into the store, they were sitting down at a table like, all right, so you're gonna be here, 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 and here. Every time he turns around, everybody takes something. Oh, I guess everybody in this room is tough right now. Blind as a bat to the cameras that's literally recording you. Mm, maybe they I mean, the recording, they're not like... Bro, these cameras, if you don't live in that town, I'm pretty sure you can take something and leave, you know what I'm saying? about the recording. I did say I lived in a town full of thieves, so they probably would have just never got caught anyway. Because people cover their tracks all the time around here. They stole something every time he turned around for 10 seconds. Full 180 degrees. Red light. Green light. Red light. Green light. Red light. Green light. <laughs> but just when I thought that was going to fill up his pads. weirder the toddler turns around while slowly putting a toy in his pocket and says to me you see something uh, uh nah nah I, I ain't see nothing ever since <laughs> i was uploaded to this earth i ain't never seen nothing like this in my life bro this kid looked like he was two and is using full sentences clear vocabulary what did this lady put in his milk meth he got me over here sweating <laughs> bullets. And I'm three times his age. As the line got shorter, they kept stealing and stealing and stealing. At this point, it's starting to look like a King Science Exposed video in here. <laughs> out of the corner of my eye, I see this dude standing outside the window, staring at all this happening. He stares at me, I stare at him back. After five seconds of staring, boom! Dude put the burners on and dashed off. And I'm thinking in my head like, I'm finna die. I'm really finna die. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. I'm about to die you know what that was nobody maybe he wanted a ps4 and could get in no big deal kuna matata tomorrow in pumba that means no worries but out of nowhere i felt this certain urge to do the same thing everybody was doing even though i knew the cameras were right there because y'all should know back then i was a follower sheep of the flock but it's <laughs> all right i'm grown now i'm a shepherd Everybody now doing it i today. leave the flock when I move, you move just like that. Mm. I know you want to do it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Damn Sonic game looks good, don't it? Running, yeah. Jumping. I know you want to find them seven chaos emeralds, huh? Just take it. Everybody else is doing it. Why not you? Listen, my Buddha. This is not the way. Do not listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, what's up? What's, what's Gucci? <laughs> Isn't my Buddha? I'm so tired, and, but this one is so funny. Jumping. I know you want to find them seven chaos emeralds, huh? Just take it. Everybody else is doing it. Why not you? Why not listen, you? Buddha, this is not the way. Do not listen to that booty scratcher. He smokes six packs a day. Mm, that wrestling game looks real good right now. Mm, smacking down. Hitting it raw. 
I know you like the jump rope. I like jumping ropes too. You like jumping ropes, do you? No, my Buddha. Booty scratcher. Ropes. Booty scratcher. Ropes. Booty scratcher. Ropes. He's going. To, he's going to take it. That's the dude from outside. Everybody, stop. You, 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 stay put. You, you're fired. You didn't care if they stole it all. You, you didn't do anything. However, you could have spoke up. But here's your PS4. I'll ring you up. You're free to go. So apparently that was the boss outside the window watching the entire time in a spot nobody could see him. Oh! But I spotted him. According to him, he did it to see how his employees would handle this store while he was gone because for some weeks prior, things would go missing every time he let the employee handle the shop. And Shit. turns out this was an Bro, what a plot twist. <laughs> issue hey. that happened for a long time, so issue resolved moral of the story don't be a follower be a leader man be a leader don't do man anything anybody else does take orders from your own mind no. because think about cap. it an original is always worth more than the copy i know i no cap that struggle in my life why can't you i, I, I think it's i i heard i heard him i'm so issue resolved moral of the does take orders from your own mind because think about it an original is always worth more than the copy. No I know care. I overcame that struggle in my life. Why can't you? No cap! Hey, with that being said, that is it for the video. Actually, hey, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Join the royal babies, the biggest, the illest, the fittest, the dopest family off the interwebs. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Peace!